is ready for some girl chat. You, girl chat, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> you guys, I have a question I need to get your advice on. Okay. okay. I have a new girl, I have a girlfriend who's new to online dating, okay? Mm -hmm. She met this guy, she really hit it off with him. They had a great date, it was perfect. She was like, we had so much energy, she thought this was it. After the date, he totally ghosted on her, like went Houdini for like five days, no call, no text, no nothing, okay? So of course she starts to doubt herself, she starts to think, did I do something wrong? Yeah. All of a sudden, he texts her back with this message. Let me read it to you guys, because I don't want to misconstrue his words. Okay. okay. It says, hey there, sorry I've not really been in touch. I've been procrastinating about what to do. Basically, I met someone else literally just before you, as I've only got a short period of time before I head off on a three-week trip. I think I should concentrate on that until then. I'm not really into the whole multiple dating thing. I will let you know if circumstances change. I had a great time with you on Saturday, James. Okay. Yes. So on one hand, the same feeling I heard some, I heard some of you women getting, which is like, what? I'm second best? You're trying to tell me like you met somebody else and I'm not more important enough for you to continue with me? Yeah. But on the other hand, there's a sense of honesty inside of his text message. Mm -hmm. And my friend is from New York where a lot of times you hear about the dating scene in New York, you hear about men being able to just pick from so many women out there. There's a lot of things to consider. At the end of the day, she doesn't know what to do. So I wanted to ask you guys what you would do, how you would respond, and would you respond at all? Well, okay, <laughs> did she's, okay. Ask uh, me questions. Uh, she said five, five days? Five days after this great date. Ghost. Yeah, after the first night, then she knew. I mean, really, it's like you don't have to wait five days. If he didn't contact you after, if it was such a great date, yes. he would at least did something, whether it was a text, whether it was a call, whether yeah. something to say, hey, just checking on you. It was a great date, da da da. No. But five days, yeah. that's a long time. Okay. A movie that was so enlightening that I recommend women out there watch. You know it is what? a movie called. He's just, just not, not that into, into you. you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. And, and you know what? I actually really respect him. And I like this Jane right. person. Because let me tell you, he told her straight up, this is what it is. Now, what she's going to do about it? Move on. I was about to say, of move course. on. What is, like, what, what is there to do about it? Why does she act like she has an option? Yes. Let Girl, me... you don't got an option. Exactly. Move on. Let me hang on the I one thing I see it as right he's there. already made his choice, yeah. though. Yes. You didn't choose me. If, if our date was so great, how come you're not taking me with you wherever yeah. you're going? Do you see what I'm saying? OK. Right? Yeah. So I think we're all on the same page, which is don't trip. Keep it moving. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I, does she respond to him? Do you honor the fact that a guy is actually being straight up? Yes. Because in this day and age, he could have just never said anything. That is he, true. You know he's swiping left, right. He's not really thinking about her. It's kind of courteous. And I wonder, do we reward that type of humor so we grow or nurture more relationships But do we like know it? his motive, though, y'all? Because sometimes guys do that just to make themselves feel better. Do you right. see what I'm saying? No, well, let me tell they you. Don't but then be seen. in that case, she really should respond and just be like, am I I'm... fucking on some pride? Like, like, yo, for real, I really appreciate that. Thanks for giving me the heads up. Hope it all works out great for you. Move That's on. Fine. When That's he... fine. Why be like... bitter Betty? Yeah. OK. That's true. OK. Long so you would respond. Say? I would just be like, yo, good looking out. Thank you for the heads up. Well, I'm trying to understand this. <laughs> OK. OK, it was a good date. Yep. Yeah. He didn't call her no. the, the night after. She night. thought it was a good date. And so probably what happened was... I he mean, said he had a great I know time. this your friend, so I'm sorry if I'm making assumptions. No, but it. the thing is, is that she probably kept texting him and calling him. And so what he did was he said, let me go ahead and just let her know. It might be the truth. It might not be the truth. He is not a knight in, shine, in shining armor. Because if he didn't like her that first night, what he was doing, he was playing her. And he didn't figure out what he wanted. So are you, are you saying that in the five days that a man doesn't respond, is he waiting for you to do something? Or is he picking out his other options? What is a guy in five days? Jeannie, when a man wants to be with you, he he's will gonna do He's going to let you know that, that night. To he'll be let you know that That means that, night. that he's, he's either with that someone night. now yeah. and trying to figure out that situation. And basically, he's keeping her on a string. Exactly. Yeah. So just in case this doesn't work out, right. oh, I'll go to her? I'm exactly. not your backup boo, please. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And no. let me tell you, you know what you need to tell your friends? Yeah. 
that one man's I'm not sure is someone else's I knew from the day I met her. Okay. I had that on my Instagram, is, man. Yes, I like that. I got that from your Instagram, yeah. I think. And that is true. But thanks for sharing that, that though. Yeah, yeah that you, know, you know, because women, we always want to look at good in men, and men are good. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But you also have to be smart about it. He is not no knight in shining armor. He was he was having her on a string. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. But out of pride, I would make him feel like, because I feel like if she doesn't respond, that low-key yep. makes her look bitter. Yep. I would be like, yo, good looking out. Thanks. Hope it goes well for you. Booyah. Like, I'd be like, no big deal. Ain't no sweat off my shoulder. Yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Let them know you're moving on. I don't know. Be like, or even better, if you want to play it, because two could play this game, and be like, I'm so glad that you responded. Been feeling the same way. Have someone that I just, you know, reconnected with. The flames are high. I feel, you know, a lot. Or not Hope it goes well with you. Yep. I'm gonna get married next. Time. <laughs> I, know. I know. That's funny. Yeah. Vaya con Dios. You know, I, and I also that. say that you put put change his name in your phone to do not answer. Okay. Well, that way you never sure. answer. Keep yes. on moving. So, yes. you know, look, dating can be awkward, and sometimes you end up having a little too much to drink. But if you end up having a few too many. It's important not to make any mistakes you might regret. In fact, Madame Noir just wrote an article describing the things you need to lock up uh -oh. when you get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the items include your phone, your credit card, your binge food, and yep. of course, your Adele music. Oh, or that'll, Beyonce that'll, music. Oh, that'll okay. take you down the oh, wall. That, yeah, you know. No, Beyonce yeah. might make you feel. Yeah. You, you no, get Beyonce that might make you feel freaky. She yeah. got a couple of songs in there, though. I ain't sorry. You be like, oh, yeah. yeah, and you get mad, you know. <laughs> but ladies, what items should be taken away, you know, that you should be, t you take away if you get a little too much, you know, too tipsy? The internet. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. What, what do you do? I mean, when you, when you remove your inhibitions, you just start falling down every rabbit hole there is from Instagram to old messages, um, people's pictures, yeah. Twitter. Um, yes, but my biggest pitfall, when I'm drinking at least three drinks in, and if it's past 11 p.m., I start online shopping. And it gets really? real bad. Oh, yes. I, I actually yes. can relate Friends to this. Yes. Yes. Just saw the night. I was having a glass of wine. Is actually fell asleep. I kept drinking a little bit more wine. Yeah. And I started thinking that I wanted to bake a cake. Random, I know. <laughs> and then I was like, well, we're, stay we're having a little staycation at home. I want to bake a cake. There's this new thing called Instacart. Oh, yeah. I told you about this. Oh. You can actually grocery shop and pick the time yes. that you want your groceries delivered. Yes. So I picked that I wanted it delivered at 9 a.m. the next morning. You guys, I went grocery shopping, slightly buzzed, and I bought Everything you could yep. ever imagine, slept in. All of a sudden, my bell is ringing at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is this? You guys, I had brought Pillsbury cookies and croissants. Ooh. and Because you were hungry, too. I was hungry. Oh. And I bought tons of groceries, random. I lock up my chocolate drawer. Do you remember that time you came over? Yeah. Actually, I think it was last night. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> Tell all the business. Yes. Um, after we had a couple of glasses of wine, you guys, all I want... A couple of bottles, it, America. Actually, oh, it was, yes. All I want is chocolate. So I actually have a chocolate drawer where I have all kinds of chocolate. You have Belgium chocolate. Why do you look like Willy Wonka right now? Because... <laughs> Oh, I, no. I but let me tell y'all how she do it, though. Chocolate popcorn. It's like we sitting there at the table, oh. and then she gets up, you know, she stumbles a little bit, <laughs> and then she comes and she sits down, right? And she got this look on her face, and she goes, this is the chocolate. She, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> she's acting like she's, like she's giving it out. Yeah, like, she, like she's you doing something. You love that chocolate, like, though. It, she, it was delicious. It was really Wait, good. It so was dark chocolate. Delicious. Are you the type to have a couple pieces? Are we going into no, half a bar? No, that's the thing. I, can't stop. I go in with maybe just thinking about a couple of pieces, but then I eat the entire bar. Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. Then yeah. I don't stop there. Then I get uh, the chocolate-covered toffee almonds, <laughs> the regular chocolate almonds, the chocolate... Uh, uh, covered popcorn. Oh, girl. Uh, what? Uh, do, you guys, seen it. do you like your chocolate dark or white? She's got a whole drawer yeah. of stuff. But how big is this drawer? It's like, it's about, it goes... How big is it's it? It's about as tall as this table. Yeah, it's it's an entire drawer, you guys. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> Wait, so oh answer the question. Gosh. What? Do you like your chocolate dark or light? <sighs> I like dark chocolate. Oh, ooh. Good to know.
feel like well, it. Well, we know what you like light, don't you, girl? <laughs> Yes, Lonnie. <laughs> I love it. Do like a little cream in my coffee. <laughs> oh my I God. got hot. Okay. <laughs> From binge eating to picky eating, have you ever ordered food at a restaurant and when it comes, you're just, it's just not what you ordered? Yes. Genie. Yes. Now, you have that internal struggle about whether or not to send it back. On one hand, you want what you ordered, and on the other hand, you don't want the staff to put any, you know, extra ingredients in wink, your brain, if you know what I mean? Because they do. That's oh, they do. That. I know that. You don't want that special sauce. No, you okay. don't. So, how do you ladies handle getting served a dish that isn't exactly what you ordered? I want to hear from her, because yeah, she oh. always orders a certain way, so I want to know. I do, and I'm the pickiest eater, Jeannie Mai. Okay. Really is. I am a picky eater. Yes, I am. I'm Jeannie Mai, and I like it ordered my way. <laughs> okay, yeah. However, I worked as a server for three years at TGI Fridays, and I've learned that as a server, you appreciate when people appreciate you. So okay. if things go wrong, it's not about what you say, it's it about nice. how you say, say it. Yeah. So yeah. even if you got a dish wrong, if you say, I'm so sorry, it, it, it's just not exactly what I ordered, or it just tastes bad, I'd rather you be happy with what you ate because then that shows up when you're making out my tip. Does that yeah. make sense? Right. If you're not happy with what you ate, you ain't gonna be happy putting down my tip. So it actually is good when things go wrong because then a server's able to show you her skills. So you just gotta ask for it nice and appreciate well, she's that. She's tired and she don't wanna show you her skills. She just wanna give you what you got. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you're paying for yeah. the meal and you should eat what you like. Exactly. Yeah, and what? I think it starts first off when you order, okay? If you know that you like something a certain type of way, you should be specific about it. Like when I order bacon, I said, look, excuse me. Excuse me. I want my bacon crispy. You're I don't want up. it chewy. Yep. I don't want it leaning over to the side. I don't want it. My, I want it crispy, not burnt, but crispy. When I put it in my mouth, I want to hear a little crunch. That's all I want to hear, and then we will be good. That's yes. I yes. did that. But why can't you find something on the menu that you want just the way it comes? Because well, sometimes people are just really. Really or picky. find something that you it comes just the way you like well, it. Well, but you're sometimes like it things? depends no. on different things. Like if you order a steak, you know it has to be cooked a certain way. You or know, no butter, exactly. no oil. You know, um, that's you your, might be on a special diet. But I actually have a friend, and it usually helps because she is oh she's actually worse than you, Jeannie. Oh Lord, I get annoyed, so I know that the waiter <laughs> is is gonna get annoyed. Um, but what she does is, is she puts out a disclaimer first. She's like, listen, I'm one of those annoying orderers. Yes. So I'm just letting you know, brace for it. And sometimes she's like, do you have a paper and a pen? Are yeah, you ready? She tries to make it funny. She, she makes does. light of it. Yeah. She yeah. does. It's yes, still it's annoying, but it helps. It the helps. Most a important bit. thing is, does she take care of the server at the end with she her tips? Okay, she does. good, because you right. always gotta pay for that yeah, extra that time is, you're okay. taking up there. But my concern is that they'll give you the special sauce because they haven't gotten the tip yet. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't care if I order pizza and a steak comes, I'm gonna eat what they serve me. Always? Even always. if you don't like it. But I, there really isn't much I don't like, so I just be oh. like... No, but you gotta stand up like for I'm yourself. Like, I'm hungry, it's gonna be fine. Munchkin, really? you gotta yeah, stand up for yourself. Iz is a way pickier eater than I am, and he's very specific about what he wants. Mm -hmm. I'm always like, whatever you didn't want, just give it to me. Like, I don't care, food is food. <laughs> I Damn. think if you, if you I open really don't it up, care. if you tell them at first when you know you want something, then yes. it does, it's not as bad if it comes back and it's not the way you want it. You say, remember I be. add it like this? Yes. Well, if you say something that's no butter and they add butter, then, you know, that could be something that's gonna affect your diet, yeah. or if you say something, no Which cheese, and lactose and intolerance. Cheese. Some yeah. of y'all who ain't supposed to have dairy, and then you have say. dairy on accident, exactly. that's it's a wrap, a happy time to go home. Yeah, you just, if you explain it to them, I think they understand. If you say it up front, you know, then I think they understand. And they'll be like, oh yeah, you did say that. Let me go back and let me try it again. Wait, have you ever noticed when they put something on your, like, meal that you I didn't ask for? and then they take it away and you actually inspect the plate and it's the same thing and they just took off whatever was on it. Exactly. Like if you said I don't want bacon bits and it was on top and then they take it away and that now means that their little fingers were in yes. there taking oh. out the bacon bits and then they just brought it back that's to you. That's why I always hide something in the plate so you can oh. tell you're the only one who knows that's the same plate. Very smart. Yes. There you go. Very